Next case, as a controller of budget, you are presented with the following data for budget variances. Department A to J, budgeted sales rupees in thousand and actual sales rupees in thousand for each and every department from A to J. Is there any reason to believe that achievements against budgets are slipping? That means this is the data about department A to J before starting the budget period and after completion of the budget period. In the inception of the period, the budgets were prepared and at the end of the budget period, the actual sales are considered. So we are going to use the test which is popularly known as paired T test. And for that purpose, we need D, that means deviation or difference. What is D? It is, you can say that after minus before. In case of A, the budgeted sales, that means before is 1020, after is 900. So it comes to minus 120. In case of B, it is positive 20, 870 minus 850. In case of C, it is 790 and 690, so minus 100. In case of D, it is minus 200. In case of E, it is minus 20. In case of F, it is positive 40. In case of G, is it, it is 0 because budgeted is 540 and actually is also 540. H, it is minus 70. I, it is minus 60. And J, it is minus 180. Mm -hmm. After minus before. After means actual sales, before means budgeted sales. So in the last 790 minus 970. It is 0. 540 and 540. 510. It is not 510. Is it? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. It is photocopy from the photocopy, is it? So it should be minus 30. Now, first of all, we need sigma d to get d bar. So, first find out sigma d. Is it minus 720? Is it one 
only 8600 Yes, first of all, what is square of 720? <coughs> 5 by 8 is for sir. Divided by 10. 51,840. 51,840. <coughs> so ultimately, the S square is. 1 leg 8600 minus 51840 divided by 9. 6306. 6306. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. Okay. This is S square. Because in the formula of T we need two things D bar and S square. So this was the working note. And the next part of the solution is testing of hypothesis. Is there any reason to believe that achievements against budgets are slipping? Our null hypothesis should be there is no significant difference. between budgeted sales and actual sales HO mu1 equals to mu2 alternative hypothesis see it is case of one tail test the wordings given in the question or given in the problem are is there any reason to believe that achievements against budgets are slipping? That means actual sales are less than budgeted sales. Achievements against budget are slipping. That means actual sales are less than the budgeted sales. HA mu1 stands for budgeted sales. So budgeted sales are greater than actual sales or actual sales are less than budgeted sales. 1 stands for budget before and 2 stands for actual that is after. Now, level of significance. No specific information about that in the question, so we are going to take it as 5%. Therefore, alpha 0 0.05. This is the case of one tail test, so we will keep alpha as it is. Now, degrees of freedom. We know that this is not the case of two different samples, but the same sample is analyzed at two different points of time. So there is only one sample. Again, the degrees of freedom is nothing but n minus 1, 10 minus 1 equals to 9. Degrees of freedom 9, that means row of, row of 9 and column of 0 0.05. That will give us the critical value of t. Row of 9 and column of 0 0.05. What is 1. the point? 1.833. Okay. Now we will calculate test statistic T, but a different formula will be used.
T equals to small d bar minus capital D upon under root S square divided by N. Again, in different books, N or N minus 1 is always used. D bar minus 72, according to our null hypothesis, there is no difference, so D is taken as 0 upon under root, what was our S square, is it 6806.67, what is our S square? S square 6306.67 6306 okay divided by 10 so minus 72 divided by square root of 630.687 minus 72 not 70 square root of 630.678 yes what is it 25.11 okay. So T is negative 2.87 So we are going to use sine of modulus 2.87 Now comparison T calculated it is 2.87 T critical that is 1.833 so calculated value of T is greater than the critical value of T hence null hypothesis is rejected so the conclusion is Actual sales are less than the budgeted sales or the achievements against the budget are slipping or actual sales Less than the budgeted sales.